Okay guys, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to set up a business page on Facebook. Now, just to be clear here, a business page is separate from uh, your personal page where you're sharing um, content for your friends and family and so forth, which you should also be sharing stuff out there too to attract business. But for a business page, you're gonna use that mostly for running paid advertisements too. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, you're going to go to the pages section in Facebook. Now they change how Facebook looks all the time. So you're going to need to investigate to try to find out where that is. But if you see at the top up here, currently the, the current layout of Facebook up the top up here, this would be like your, your home section. You got this little flag here. Uh, this is Facebook symbol for uh, business pages. And this has been pretty consistent for a couple of number of years in terms of this symbology indicating a page. But we're gonna go ahead and we're on the pages section here. We're gonna go ahead and click on create new page right here. Let's create a new page. Let's give this a name. Make it short but descriptive for your business. Um, obviously, you'd wanna to try to match it to the actual name of your business if you, if you have one uh, already established. So let's go ahead and set this up as Framingham window cleaning. Okay, and then now you gotta put in a category here. So you can start typing and then it's going to give you some suggestions in here. So this is for window cleaning. Let's just try cleaning service. Perfect. Okay. And then you could add in other uh, categories as well. You can add up to three. I'm just going to use that one for now. And then I can put in a little description here. You got a limit of 255 characters. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and create our page here. So this is just giving you like a little preview. We'll be able to change all that information. So it's just checking to see if there's any other sites out here. So there we go. We got our page created. Now, let's just click that little X there. We can add in a little profile picture. Profile picture is going to be this uh, picture you see right here. Uh, I don't have one, so let's just go out and do a quick search here real quick for window cleaner. Okay, so uh, I'll just use this one for right now. Um, now, ideally, you don't want to use a, someone else's pictures, uh, but for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm just going to use this image right here. Actually, I'll use this one right here. All right. Save image as. Okay. Let's go back over here. Let's add in our profile picture. Okay, window cleaner, open. And if I need to, I could like drag this around a little bit. Um, I think I actually have to do that on the uh, next page. Anyways, that's good enough for now. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a picture up here. Let's see if we can use that same image. It might be too small, but let's test that out. Add cover photo. Uh, you'd actually probably want to use something a little different, something that has maybe like your name in it. You could use uh, a software out there that's called canva.com. So that's C-A-N-V-A.com. You could go in and you could put uh, like a nice text overlay um, with the business's name. So Framingham Window Cleaning, and you could put like a call to action of like call now or, or click below to get, uh, you know, get a quote or message us or something like that. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll set that up in a separate video, but for right now, let's just power through finishing this page here. And okay, so here's where I could like drag this to, to reposition this. Now again, you will want to use imagery that is ideally your own. Um, you can go out and try to get it from Google, but just look to make sure that you're not using someone's stock photo that has watermarks. And then also when you're doing your searches out on Google too, take a look at, uh, let's see, I think it's under tools. Yeah, go to tools, go to usage rights, and make sure that you're using images that show up under Creative Commons. Uh, as opposed to commercial and other licenses. Um, that way you're not using um, someone's image that uh, they could come back and, and indicate that uh, you are using their images. Okay, moving along here. Let's reposition that guy right there. That's perfect. And let's hit save. Okay, so now we've got the basics of our page created. I could click on view as visitor here. I can see what this looks like. And on that, I could go ahead and start creating a post. Now, uh, I'm not gonna cover this in this particular video, but you could set up automated posting for content on here. I definitely suggest that you should probably 
um, sit down one day a week, maybe spend an hour or two and just create content that you're going to schedule to go on your business page every single day, um, at least once a day. And uh, that way you can build a presence out here. That way, when you start to run ads, if someone goes to check out your business page, you'll see that there's content in here and it's not old content from years ago. Uh, other steps that you can do, you can go in and uh, edit like the, the the about section. So let me just go back here. I'm going to exit view as. OK, so let's go to uh, the about section again. They've, they've moved this around. So you could go into the about section and enter in location and so forth. You could rename the description. Uh, let's go ahead and enter in a location here. I'm just going to put in here Framingham. Massachusetts. OK, and I can put in a zip code, too, if I wanted. Uh, if my page didn't have a location, then I would just go ahead and press that. Since this is a window cleaning business, they're usually going to come to you. There's usually no need for you to go in, so there's not going to be a location here. Let's click X there. And then if I had a website, I would go ahead, click in there, and put in uh, my website. Okay, and you can see after you, you click out, of, there's no like submit button. You click out of it, it, it brings you back to this page and then it adds that information in here. We could add in a phone number. I'm not gonna add that in. You could um, set up email, that way they could email you. So you could put in, uh, let's see, Framingham window cleaning at gmail.com. Okay. And you could add in your business business hours and edit your categories and so forth. And then where it says zero people follow this, uh, I haven't started uh, adding people to this. So you could reach out to your friends. You could go over here to these little three dots here and then um, invite your friends um, to, to begin liking your, your page now. Now, I don't suggest running any paid ads to get people to like your page. That's a waste of money. You really don't need that. You just need maybe about uh, 50 to 100 people to like your page. All right, hopefully this video helps. That's the basics of setting up your, your Facebook business page.